people are unsure about cooking fish at home, but I'm going to show you two terrific techniques that are foolproof. So first of all, I've got a plate here and I've got some baby bok choy that I've quartered and I'm going to put that straight into my steamer and everything's going to cook on this and then I'm going to serve it on here. Now I've got some beautiful snapper fillets. Now you can use any white fleshed fish but snapper's a fish that's pretty widely available. So the snapper fillets are on there. Now some flavouring ingredients. So first of all I've got some green onions also known as shallots that I've cut in julienne strips, some ginger. This is a very popular Chinese uh, dish with Chinese flavours. And then some soy sauce over the top of the fish. And finally, a little bit of sesame oil. You can smoke this at the end and add it in a pan and pour it on top, but I find this is easy. Now, you assemble all of this like this. You do not assemble it while it's in over your pan or you're gonna burn your fingers. So the lid goes on. And then it goes over a pan of boiling steaming water and it's going to cook. So that's going to take a few minutes because they're quite big fish fillets. But over here we're now going to cook the same fish in a different way. So first of all I'm using butter this time because I actually do want my fish to brown. Here we have the snapper fillets and I've got some plain flour and I'm just going to pop them skin side down only. Now, get this butter around the pan, skin side only, and now this goes into the pan. We'll do the same with the other fillet, and this way the bottom's going to crisp up, and we're going to steam through the top, so like that. Now, we've got space to cook something else around it, so I've got some red capsicum I've sliced, but you could put in mushrooms, you could put in any coloured capsicum, you could put in onions. I just thought it's a really simple way of cooking everything in one pan. And the main mistake people make with fish is overcooking it. So always err on undercooking it because it's still going to keep cooking as you take it to the table. Now I've got some fennel seeds. These are just a little bit to flavour the top of the fish. It's a lovely anise flavour. So now that I think that the underneath is starting to get crisp, I'm going to cover this because what's happening now is it's cooking from underneath and the skin will be crisp and then we're steaming through the top. So that's all there is to it. We're just going to wait about five minutes or so until both of them are cooked. Oh, I can tell this is cooked now. So heat off and the finishing touch, as with so many fish dishes, is some lemon juice and uh, it's going to bubble up in the pan and make a little sauce. And that's all there is to it for crisp skinned snapper with some capsicum. Now for the steamed fish. Be very careful, you can burn yourself with steam. Little tip is take it off the heat and then lift it away from you so steam doesn't go up on your face. And there we have some beautifully done fish fillets with ginger, shallot and soy.